everyone welcome back to my channel this is Ritnika and you have reached natural vibration these this is Taurus love reading for the month of July so I am back in the country and if you guys are interested in booking a private reading you can log on to my website all details are listed below my turnaround time is just two to three days so that would be a good time for you to book a reading also if you like my videos will be great if you could please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of all my videos okay so taurus what's in store for taurus's love life the month of july universe Ooh, we got blessings number 44 good things are coming your way taurus Ooh, let's get some more clarity good things are coming your way Taurus, Taurus, lovely in July. Finances and career, okay, so you might have some um, financial stuff going on, some work stuff going on that might be affecting, aha, true love, see, that's why you got blessings and you got true love, you so far, you're the only card, uh, only sun sign that's got that, and it's safe for you to love, okay, so, First and foremost, simple as that. You've got blessings and you've got true love. So for those of you that are single and are hoping for something to happen this year, uh, this month, this year, <sighs> July is a big month for you. All right? You might be, exp you know, you might get, you might meet somebody, you might get that true love, you might get that commitment. Whatever it is that you're hoping for, there's a big possibility that you will get that. But you have got to remember that it is safe for you to love, okay? You've got to open up your heart. I feel like some of you may have been a bit bogged down by your work situation. Maybe you've been too busy with work and you haven't had time to date. You haven't had time to commit or to give attention to your partner if you are in a relationship because these are general, so take what resonates. But the universe is saying it is time you open up your heart. It is time you realize that it is safe for you to get the love. And if you have met somebody new, realize that no one, that it is safe for you to try out, you know, take a leap of faith. Try this relationship out because it can lead to something amazing. This could be true love. But if you're afraid of opening up your heart, then you're not going to get it. I feel for some of you, your work stuff may be really playing a big role. You might be really busy. You might be concerned about your work life. You might be bogged down by pressure that is affecting your overall self-esteem. All of that, uh, maybe you feel like you need to make a certain kind of money, uh, have certain kind of job or money or whatever before you can give yourself to love, commit to love. Well, you know what? None of that matters, okay? What matters is that it is safe for you to love. You should go after what it is that you want. There'll never be the right time in your head. The universe knows when it's the right time. And so far, it seems like this is the right time for you. So let's get some more on clarity and some more um, messages for, for Taurus for the month of July. We've got go to the distance. This is all about how life is a marathon. It is not a sprint. So if you feel like if you get the perfect job, you will then everything will work itself out and that's when you can commit to love. Well, guess what? That's not how, that's not how it's going to work. You may get more, a raise. You may get another job and then there'll be something else in the way. There's always something in the way. So you can't just be like, okay, when I reach this point, that's when I'm going to commit to love. What you need to remember is that by dating, by giving a little bit of love to somebody, it's, it's, whoa, sorry guys, <laughs> it's, it's a marathon. It's not something that you can just get right away, all right? It's something that you need to sort of keep at it and the work will never be over. You'll never be at that point where you're 100% ready, you know, when it comes to finances, etc. You've got here and now. I hope nothing else fell out. I think that was it, yeah. Unfinished symphony. Observer. And orphan. Okay. Oop. Okay. I feel, for, these are again general, so take what resonates. For some of you, 
for some of you um, there is a relationship from the past that um, feels unfinished that you're not done with and that person could be your true love but you haven't really made the effort to go towards that person so far because you've been stuck in the past and you're very worried about the future i feel like you're not living in the present and that goes back to what i was saying earlier that you can't be so worried whether hey what's going to happen in the future will i have enough money blah 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 and also be focused on okay that's when that's what went wrong in the past and how that's going to work out etc the point is love is not a sprint you're never going to get to the end goal in one go it's a marathon you have to stay dedicated to it as you were if you were training for a marathon okay you have been watching and observing from afar i feel now this could also mean that there's somebody in your life who's been doing this to you you can, the roles can reverse so it could be somebody who feels this way about you but has just been watching you from afar or it could be you who has been doing that you haven't really been doing anything but because because deep down you don't feel like you deserve this you feel like an orphan you feel like you were abandoned you were afraid to open up your heart and the universe is telling you now is time for you to open up your heart alternatively if this is for somebody you're thinking of it could be that they are ready to open up their heart towards you but how can that happen if this is you how do you open up your heart how do you not keep focus on your career and how do you allow this true love to get in well by stop focusing on the fact that what can go wrong stop focusing on the past stop being worried about the future start realizing that it is safe for you to love that no matter what happens it is okay for you to open up your heart you are not alone you are not alone you're not an orphan you're not going to be abandoned this time all right maybe and then this card could also mean you go ahead and open up your heart and see what happens okay you if you're closed off nothing can ever come in but if you actually open up your heart and start focusing on the or start worrying about things and just decide okay i'm going to see where this goes see where it goes it could lead you to true love and because you've got true love and blessings this is telling me that you will get this true love if you just open up your heart okay so let's get you one more advice card for taurus july advice card for taurus july <laughs> there you go play have fun celebrate don't be so serious again stop being so worried stop feeling like things are going to hit the roof that things are not going to work out that it's okay for you to let go it's okay for you to try things out it's okay for you to have some fun stop being so focused on your work and stop being so worried about your finances and stop being so worried about getting hurt just relax and have a good time and see what happens you know you cannot be so focused on the negative because then the positive cannot come in the positive can come in when you let go and just relax and have a good time so i hope this was helpful i wish you all the best take care bye